Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma. I'm glad to have you on my channel today. If this is the first time I've come across this channel, hello. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. All right, guys, today I've come to teach you guys how to make prepare way opener. Okay? Way opener juice, way opener water for yourself so that your road will open, your way will open. If your road or your way is blocked, you cannot receive favor. You cannot move forward. You will just be there. You will not move forward. You will not succeed in what you are doing. So I am, I'm, I'm here to teach you how to come out of that bondage and open your way. Okay? So that things will be moving out well for you. Okay? Yes. All right, guys. Um, today, it's not um, expensive. The materials are very cheap to afford and you can get it anywhere. Okay? Just walk into any spiritual shop. Ask them to give you um, Yoruba anti-witchcraft. Yoruba anti-witchcraft, popularly known as Epobo. They call it Ekbobo, all right? Yes. Ekbobo, ask them to give it to you, okay? Yes. Get the Ekbobo. Grind it properly to be in a powdered form. Grind it to be in a powdered form, okay? Yes. When you grind it, you get a container, like this um, water can, okay? When you finish grinding it, you pour it inside the water can, okay? You pour it inside the water can. When you pour it inside this water can, you cover it, cover it, allow it to stay for nine days. Keep it in a place where it will not touch the floor. Okay? Keep it in a place where it will not touch the floor. Yoruba anti-witchcraft is not, does not only work for scaring witches away. That's not the only work. It works for a lot of things. There are other evil spirits that can make your way to be blocked. It also scares it away. It also removes those evil spirits from your way so that you will be you will succeed and you will do well and better. By the time you cover it, allow it to stay for nine days. You keep it in a place, it could be on top of your shelf, or maybe um uh, let it not just be on the floor. Okay, you cover it and keep it there nine days. Then the tenth day, you go and pluck bitter leaves. Go and look for bitter leaves wherever you can get bitter leaves. Okay, go and um, plug it. Plug this bitter leaf in the morning, early in the morning, between 5 to 6 a.m. You go and plug it. Before you plug it, you tell bitter leaf that you want it to remove all the bitterness in your life and attract to sweetness in your life. You want it, you are using it in your spiritual life to stand out and remove every bitterness, every negative energy in your life and attract to sweetness in your life. Okay, after you finish, you go and do what? You pluck it. Okay, pluck as many as you want. If the water you poured inside the um, epobo powder that is contained in the, in, the, in, the, in the bottle, in the empty can, is much, if you, if you, you know, if it's up to the brim, then you can use like 21 leaves of bitter leaf. Okay, or you can use, you know, um, you can use 21 or you can use 29 okay then when you get it do not wash it please do not wash it you are not eating it you are only going to be using it on yourself then when you get it use that very water that is on the 10th day use that very water that is contained inside that that tenor. that water that is contained inside that can use it and squeeze the juice of that um, use it and squeeze the juice of that bitter leaf Use it to squeeze the, the, the bitter leaf, okay? Yes, use it to uh, squeeze the 21 or 29 leaves of bitter leaf. After squeezing it, you package it, package the water, trash the chaff, okay? Remove the chaff and trash it. Package that water inside that container. Make an opening on the tip of the cover. Make an opening on the cover, a round opening there. You can just splash it inside your beaten water morning and night morning and night morning and night always add it inside your beating water 
you pray over it as you are using it that let all the road that is blocked in your life be opened right right now that you do not want your road to be closed anymore you want to attract blessings or merited blessings you want to attract favor you want to attract love if there is any spirit on the way that you want the spirit to be out of your way forever any evil spirit on your way you want it to be out any akalogori way what spirit any uh, spirit of um uh, any witchcraft on your way any uh, way what spirit any evil spirit on your way that you want it to be out forever okay yes you can also work for succubus and incubus you also mention it that you want them to be out all these things are negative energies all these things are negative spirits by the time they are on your way your matter once once they remember you once they are on your matter it will be difficult for you to succeed so any of these ones that are on your way just be putting this inside your beating water to have your bath when you are having your bath on that on the very day that you start get ugly she leaves that's new body levis but fertility leave or a way of cocoa use it as sponge as you are praying you'll be saying that no man no woman will take what rightly belong to you that you are taking your position back back your position you want to possess your possession back as you are saying it to be scrubbing your body after bathing do not dry your body just go like that stay like that until the water dries inside you just allow the water to sink inside you. There is something it does inside of you when the water sinks in your body. Do this from time to time. Whenever you notice that your road has opened, that favor has started locating you, you can stop or you can still continue. There is, it has no side effect. It has no negative side effect. All we teach is natural products. All we, see, all we use here is natural recipes. We teach about nature. We teach about nature. Whenever you, extra, you stop yourself from using natural products, from following nature, it becomes witchcraft. There is something I want to address. Please, my people, I want to address something. Somebody called me, she called me and told me that, that uh, she heard somebody that said that she used mirror in the night to check themselves. I don't know, kiniko, kiniko. At the end of the day, she saw herself using her teeth to, to bite, to eat her hairs, to eat hairs. And when she woke up, she saw, you know, she saw herself when she was sleeping. She saw herself in different places and all that. Let me tell you, know when you are deviating from nature. Mind you, know when you are deviating from nature. If you go and enter witchcraft, see, there are many... Oh, there are many witches looking for whom to initiate into their coven. If you want, go and fall victim. I did not teach you that though. I did not teach you that. Go carry mirror in the night. Let everywhere be dark. Remove all your clothes and stand in front of it and mention some so 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 so, so name. What are you saying? Don't let people get you initiated and triple your problem. Yes, many of them are looking for who to join them. My hands are not there. My hands are not there. Nothing good comes from witches. They are destructive. They are wicked. They are destructive. Nothing good can ever come from them. Thank you very much, guys. I love you guys. Thank you. God bless you. See you guys in my next one. Bye.